Hello everybody and good morning. This is day four, um, video four of the Glastron SE 175 rebuild. What I did today is I went ahead and I laid out all the parts, everything that I've just cut. So this was all cut uh, over the course of four days. Um, if you paid attention to my videos, you'll see as it's been updated. But you can see right here, uh, this would be front bow seating. Um, I was able to save the cushions. It's all brand new. This would be the very, very front center anchor seat. This would be a uh, gas tank cover, or uh, yeah, gas tank um, for the flooring. See right here, these are all your little miscellaneous pieces that form your front um, your front bow section as far as the, the trim, uh, vanity trim would go. Right here, this is the seat uh, that was recut. I was able to salvage the fo foam on that one as well. These here, they were um, front kick plates left and right. So they're now new uh, front kick plates. Here's your vanity pieces. These make up the, along the whole entire side of the boat with the cup holders intact. Um, this would be your back hatch piece right here. You see where it's uh, completely ended, uh, connected together in the back end. I was able to salvage all the foam. This would be your back kick plate where the hatch would actually rest up against. Now you may be looking at this stuff saying, what the heck is all that crap? What I did is it took a little extra time. And believe me, I wasn't happy about pulling a million staples. But what I did, it, the goal was to save a lot of the interior material. Uh, not because I wanted to keep it because I'm some kind of strange weirdo. It was being kept so I could turn around and when I go to make out the new parts uh, and have to sew them together, I can use these pieces here as kind of like a sort of template. So I know exactly to a point where how, how long my fabric needs to be. Uh, that's that's why it was kept. Eventually it'll go in the garbage. But you can see all the pieces. Uh, this is pre-fiberglass. I haven't done anything with them. Eventually all these pieces right here will all get put together with the uh, um, pieces that actually they're supposed to sit just like this. Let me see if I can demonstrate it here real quick. They sit like this. Then they have a corner piece that goes in just like this. Just like that. Eventually I'll um, nail them all together and uh all fiberglass all these pieces individually uh, the goal is to make sure this don't ever happen again because frankly i don't want to tear it apart again interesting thing i noticed on the glass tron se was the way the fiberglass was laid inside of the boat on any other boat i've worked on the fiberglass has always been flush right up against the hull as far as uh, where the floor would meet on this boat however they actually brought it back about three inches all the way down the entire side of the boat. Now I can show you exactly what I mean when I say that. Let's see, um, while I'm over here, I'll go ahead and show you this. This here is the floor cutout. This is where the hatch is. Um, it's not being cut for any particular reason. It's being cut, so I know the dimensions of that entire square uh, where the ski locker actually sits. Eventually, that goes in the garbage. You come over to this side. You notice this piece right here. You can see where it's got this angle right here. This is the angle of the boat. I kept that just specifically for that angle. That way when I cut the floors, I already know what my angle is across here. Interestingly enough, if you look here, they only used half inch plywood on this boat. Uh, that was, for one, that was part of the problem. I didn't notice any type of glass underneath this wood either. Uh, it was kind of just, you know, put in and then glassed over finally at the last stage. But um, I just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention. Uh, I chose to go with three quarter plywood. Uh, it's gonna add maybe 20 more pounds total to this boat. But being that it's spaced out all the way across, you know, a 19 foot section, this or a 17 foot section, this shouldn't be of any issue. Not at that little bit. Now we come here. Now, if you look in here, you can see right here, this is what I'm talking about. You see how it comes down? It's about three, four inches away from the side of the hull. This is the first time I've ever encountered a boat that does this. Normally they butt, they flush them literally right up against the edges there. This one didn't do that. I, I actually kind of like it. Um, I always said this would probably be the easiest boat I've ever done. Um, so far it's panned out to be 100% true. It is one of the easiest ones I've ever had to do. But I will keep updating everybody on my videos and showing everybody how, <clears throat> how a Glastron SE-175 is rebuilt. And just so you can see right here, that's the Glastron SE-175. 
I don't think anybody else has one of these rebuild videos on, but I'm just glad I'm gonna get to add it. But uh, keep a lookout for my videos and hopefully this video helps others as well.